Right now, everybody is into making this viral split design. They they not like us, and it's really cool. You can go on to Etsy and you can buy Canva templates to make that design. But I kind of want to know how to make these designs with any text that I want. I came across this video yesterday by Web Skills, and this video to me was the simplest. The only thing is that. There was just music in the background. So I thought I would make this quick video to show you step by step with instructions exactly how to make the split design with any text that you want. So if you're interested in that, stick around and we're gonna head right on over to Canva. Okay, so this is the design that we're gonna be working on. So I'm just going to go and start a whole new page. So from the beginning, we can set up our um, page size and our design size so that you can adjust it as you like. All right. So it says do it for yourself. Basically, in Jamaican, that just means do it for yourself. All right. So this image that we're going to be using, it was actually AI generated right here in Canva. All you need to do is to go over to apps and then you can select a text to image app. I so let's go out to create a design and the size that you're going to want, you're going to do custom size. You can have it in pixels. I chose 1920 by 1081 so let's go ahead and create you can use any image you feel like using you can upload one from the web all right so this is what the ai generated now i don't want this background so we're just going to come up to background remove and of course in order to do background remove this is canva pro all right so but you can bring in any image you want that does not have a background so we have our image I actually want him to be in the other direction. So I'm just going to come up right here and I'm going to say flip horizontally. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my text. So we're going to come over to the left panel, get the text, and we're going to type in whatever we want. So I'm going to go caps and say do it for yourself. All right. Then I'm just going to take my text. And I want this to be aligned left. Okay, so let me just grab that and align that left as well. All right, so I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put it over my design where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use the design to size it. All right, so that looks about right. Okay. So let me choose my fonts. Let's remove the bold and pick the font that you want to use. I'm going to use Anton. It's a nice, narrow, um, thick font. All right. That looks a lot better. Let me go ahead and reduce it a bit. Maybe I need it a little bit bigger. All right, I'm going to let it take up about this space. So what I'm going to do is just bring it over here. Now, what I found with this is it's better to have um, some text that is extended a little bit more because if you have this blank space here, this portion of his face is going to get cut off, all right? Because remember, the image is going to come through our design. So you would want to choose a text that has enough um, body so that as much of his face can come through, all right? So with that in mind, I might just decide to uh, flip this back this way so although I am missing some of his hair, I'm keeping his face. So it's all up to you how you want to do that design. So, so the next step is to just bring it on over here and we're going to come over to elements and we're going to pick a square. So let's go ahead and just drag that square over 
our design. And let's go ahead and change our font color to white. And then we're going to pick our box and we're just going to change that to black. So the next step is to download the design. Let's go ahead and download it as a PNG file. Just need to grab it right here and then we'll drop it in. So what we'll do, we're just going to go ahead and hide. We're going to crop away that portion. So let's just bring that in. And we're going to crop away as much as close to this edge here. Because this is what is going to create the separation between the image and the text. So we don't want that to be too large. All right. So now that we've cropped it away, we're just going to come back to background removal. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can bring in your image without a background. When you download this, then you can go and put this in um, uh, the website. It's called Remove BG, I think. Uh, Remove BG and take it out, take out the background and bring it back. Okay. So there's a way around it if you don't have Canva Pro. All right. So now that we've taken out the background, as you can see, our image is right in here. Yeah. So this is what I was saying that if you have only a little text here, then you're going to lose a lot of your design. So you are going to want to think about that. So let's go ahead and add another page. And we're going to bring this design down because of course, um, we don't want to have this huge black background right there, right? So what we want is an outline. So let's go ahead and make that outline. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on edit. So make sure this is highlighted. We're going to click on edit. And then we're going to go to duotone. And we're going to go to custom. Then we're going to take our highlights and we're going to set that to white. So we're just going to take this out and we're just going to fill it with S. And that should take us to white. Oh, no. Sorry, let's go back into edit. I came out accidentally. We're going to go back to dual tone. And we're going to go to shadows and we're going to set that to white as well okay all right so we're so this is still our image we're gonna go to edit and then we're gonna go to shadows we're gonna pick outline and then we're going to come down to size and then we're gonna size it to get our outline all right, so what looks good to you? That looks great. Nice. All right, so let's get out of here. And we can just crop away the top edge here where we have the black line. So let's go ahead and crop that down. Let's come pretty close to our design. Bring in our edges. Nice. So let's come on back to our image. We want our image to pop off the text. So what we need to do is to give our image an outline. So let's click on that. And we're going to come up to edit. And we're going to go to shadows. Because we want it to pop. All right. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to say outline. And we're going to. So you can see our black outline. So we're going to adjust the outline size for what looks good. Yeah. 
nice thin outline. And then we're going to come to our color and we're going to change that to white. All right. Nice. So we don't actually need this anymore. So let's delete that. And we're going to bring our do it for yourself back up here. And boom. All right. So we're almost there. We're almost there. So what we want to do is to give our text some background as well. We can come on over here and we can give it a background. So this background can be whatever background you, you choose. So let's get this box all over this part of our design and we're gonna send it behind um our text and our design so we're gonna come over to position but we're not just gonna say send to back we're gonna go into layers and we're going to bring it all the way behind our text and behind our image all right so that's it. It's behind the image. It actually really looks cool with the black. And you can see that the white outline that we gave it, it allows it to pop off the image. All okay, right. So it kind of looks cool um, with the black background. Of course, too much of his face for me is being hidden. So we could just shift it over a little bit. Shift it over. And we would have to make sure we're shifting that back layer as well so let me shift it over just using my arrow keys to shift that over so we can get a little bit more of his face if we wanted to give the background a little bit more color we could go ahead in the panels and select right here come up to colors and then we can select anything else all right so changing the background color to this gives it a little bit more of a pop than the black and it doesn't look so rigid uh, so I like that. So if we come back here and we go to position and we click on this background and come up to color, then we can change that out for something else. So if we wanted to pick uh, probably this one, that works too. Uh, we can switch it out for anything that we like. We can pick a solid color. I kind of like these um, these ones right here. So let's try that. That's kind of cool. Let me go ahead and show you one that I did that had a little bit more text. So this is the one I created yesterday from his project. So as you can see, I had a lot more text so I could see a lot more of the image. So this one was also AI generated. I have added other pages where I changed the background. I took away the line for some of them to make them a little bit cooler. Okay, guys. So this is how you would create your split design in Canva. If you don't have Canva Pro, just download your images, take it to remove BG, it's free, and remove your background, bring it back in and continue to work on your design. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a share.